we knew nothing at all about where this was going. 50 years ago, 13 black ski clubs came together in Aspen, Colorado. 50 years later, we have over 2,000 people. What draws people to activities that they are not used to? Most of us end up saying, gee, I don't do this or I don't do that. Like black folks don't swim. Black folks don't go to the mountains. Black folks don't go play in the snow. It's only when we are able to see people that look like us doing these sports that we get somewhere in the back of our mind, maybe I'd like to try that. It's so exciting to see females, males, everyone. I went to my first ski summit. It was eye-opening. It was, you know, one of the best things that ever happened to me because I never saw anyone of my color. Hi, I'm Sandra Scott, born and raised in Colorado. I started skiing with the Slippers and Sliders when I was about seven. It was prohibited for a long time because of the cost. It's very expensive. It's very expensive and the only way we can afford it is to get together. So now we're uniting, we're getting discounts, we're making it feasible and it's so exciting to see the younger kids out there skiing. We have over 2,000 people in Vail enjoying a wonderful experience. What made us great is we were fortunate enough to stumble on a model that appealed to people. Not only do, does this group ski and snowboard, but it also parties. It makes tremendously powerful presentations of what this organization is. We are by far the largest ski convention in America. And wow, we just happen to be black. So what does it feel like? It feels like, it feels to me overwhelming. They are the, the ones that started the whole thing. So it's really great that they are here, they're still active, they're still involved. So our kids, we gotta help them out. We gotta be there for them. That's why it's important that organizations like this exist. Because as you saw that young man that came up and spoke with me, to, to he and his parents, that was a wonderful experience that hopefully will get him motivated to continue to do this. Thank goodness that there are young folks who are willing to come around and participate. Now, whether they're willing to step up and lead and take, you know, roles of responsibility is to be determined. But that's what we're dependent on. And I think, you know, Art will tell you he sees it going on forever. All right, I'll see y'all later. Yeah. Yeah, my way, Tom. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> you already knocked me down once today. <laughs>